All right, cool. Welcome back to the stream. Um, sorry about the delay. I was just getting some stuff ready, and yeah, internet was at, acting weird. So, anyways, so what's going on, everybody? Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm streaming back to back days, but I got some time to do it. So, uh, honestly, I might as well. So, I'm gonna sit here, and enjoy my coffee, and uh, we're gonna try to knock out Black Badger Lake. I don't know how far we're gonna get or how long we're going to stream today, but we'll try to get something done. So uh, let's get into this. All right. I just bought this brown sugar uh, creamer for this coffee, and it's so good. I usually just drink my coffee uh, just black. But, I don't know. Tastes really good, so I think it's a winner. Hey, what's up, Vincent? How you doing, man? Happy Saturday. So yeah, I just got done running my errands for today. Went grocery shopping. It's always fun, so. All right, I think I have to go in here and then down and around to get down to this creation zone. So, all right. I'm doing well, man. Doing well, thank you. Actually, I need to map this out because actually I need to turn around and like go through here ish yeah I gotta, I gotta spin around oh shoot I might have to go get gas before I do this Oh man. Actually, you know what I'll do? That's good enough. I'm pretty sure I don't need all this fuel in the generator. I only need to make four, I think it's like six pieces of cargo or six pieces of pack sand, so I don't think it's gonna take. Um, the whole tank of gas in the generator to do so. So, I don't know. Take a chance. If not, I can just throw some fuel back into it. Yeah, that's true. Oh no, don't clip, don't clip, don't clip. Oh nice. I'm just, uh, I'm really trying to like, knock this region out, or this map. I want to get over to um, the next map and like, and start hacking away at that, so. I'm excited to get the the new pace star. But I, I think these login contracts here are gonna take a while. Which is fine, but Actually, I'm gonna go like this for you. Keep an eye on that trailer. I'm kind of glad that I don't have to come up here to craft. <laughs> I was thinking when I like discovered this area, I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to keep coming up and down this quarry 
to like get cargo, but it's really only one one contract that you do that. So I think what I'll do is I'll craft this cargo, load it in this bed, and then I'll just um I'll winch this thing out of here too. So I can sell it back. So Vincent, I was thinking about what you said last night about starter trucks, like good starter trucks, and like I was definitely agreeing with you for sure, but um, what starter truck do you think is the best? Is it the Fleet Star? Because of like just the way it kind of like teaches you the game. Yeah, I'm kind of gl I'm glad I don't have to go down there often. It's just like because it's I mean it takes a while. Oh shoot! Don't do that. Okay, I need to slow down. So I think this trailer that I'm pulling is a little bit more sturdy because it has like four axles. I'm not sure. It's something I want to do a test on actually is the uh, the stability of the two slot trailers because there's two types, right? There's the flatbed, then there's the uh, sideboard. I usually mess with the sideboard, but if I'm having issues with it contacting the bed, I'll use the flatbed trailer. But I was wondering because they both have, you know, one only has two axles, the other has, you know, four. I was wondering if that makes, like, gives it more stability or not. So that's something I'll probably do some other time, but man, this, this is like a long journey. Yeah, that's true. It does teach you about upgrades. That is that is really true. Because like you find most of them right there in Black River. Can I make this turn? Nope. Okay, I don't want to hit that rock. Try to keep this trailer up right here. Yeah, it is. Honestly, like, I got rid of the Fleet Star so early that I wish I didn't. But it, it's a good, it's pretty good all around. That's for sure. Alright, so where's this? Did I pass up where this thing goes? No. Okay, it's over here. Alright, so I'm going to dump this trailer right here. side, but it's fine. I'll go this way. Darn. I'm not looking at where I'm cutting my wheels. Trailer is too far away. You know what? How about now? Try to spin this around so I can back up and snatch it with the winch. Oh, that should be good enough. Yeah. 
That is true. The Kodiak does teach that. So the thing is, like, I didn't really use the Kodiak either until, like, I think it was the Yukon maps. And that's where I was really like, man, I've been missing out. Okay, so I need six of these. Actually, wait. I need to go back to my... Factory C, start. So I need six. Yep, we got it. You know something I've been doing a lot more lately is using semi-trailers. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like apparent. I think my last three streams have all been with semis. I used to be so afraid of using them, honestly. I used to use the uh, the ramped flatbed. Okay, cool. Now we'll spin this sucker around and... I lo <laughs> it looks like a baker. <laughs> like a baker's hat on top. <laughs> kind of funny. Actually, hold up. I might need to, like... Uh, I'll just spin around and back up. I can back the trailer up easier. Oh yeah, you do the same thing? Yeah, I just feel like... I don't know, it's much more prior- oh shoot. I gotta get over. Don't you tip. him close and then I'll take off. Let's do it. How heavy these uh, these pieces of cargo are. You know who is it? There's a there's a streamer or a, uh, a content creator that that makes videos about um, how heavy the pieces of cargo are. I think it's SD1. And I'm not sure how heavy these are, but they seem like they're super heavy right now. I'm gonna actually get farther back here so I can watch this. So like, I used to use the ramp flat trailer, right? And then the sideboard bed to get six pieces of cargo. And, you know, the, the crazy thing about it is like, as soon as you tip the trailer a little bit, like everything comes sliding off. And like last night was a pretty good example of why a sideboard bed is, is better. You know, I know people still use the flat bed, but the flatbed looks cool, but the sideboard bed is just such a safer bed. Like, last night I, I still kept my cargo inside the bed, and if I would have had a flatbed, you know, it would have all came out, and I would have been sitting there loading it. Yeah, it probably would have, um... I probably would have been able to craft or to dump all that stuff. Oh, shoot. 
to dump all that cargo into that area. So I had that like little glitch where I didn't pack the cargo because it kind of like came unpacked, but it still stayed in the bed. But yeah, all of it would have slid out. So like, I don't know. I wish I wish you could change the color of like the flat the sideboard beds though. That'd be so cool. Not tip here, bud. Not tip. And you did. Okay, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Let's see. I might have to disconnect and then re -tip, tip him over. I'm gonna get up here first. I had a feeling that that rock was gonna do that. There we go. Yeah, I think so too. I have a, I have a friend. Um, it's one of those guys I I mentioned last night. He uses the flatbed on it with I think more than anything. And I mean, while it looks cool, yeah, it is kind of like it's kind of like role playing. I'm gonna do something. Cargo was coming unpacked. Or coming <laughs> not unpacked, it was coming like loose. I noticed that there are so many logging contracts on this map. Like, I think the only other map, or the only other area that I think that has more logging contracts, or no, yeah, or maybe just as much, is probably Michigan. Like, Russia had a few. I mean, they, they definitely were like a lot of. You know what I'm saying? Delivering like six, um, six loads of medium logs and such like that, but it wasn't like a crazy amount. Oh gosh, I have a feeling this is gonna be another flip. Maybe not. Oh. Seriously surprising that this thing can can get in fourth gear and stay like that. So wait, when does the uh, the patch come out? I think the new the new zone comes out here. Gosh, is it is it Monday? That's right, yeah. I'll do that, actually. That's right, the Saber Physics. Oh, the 18th, okay. So that's, I think, Tuesday.
too bad I'll be uh I'll be still chugging away at this stuff, but whatever. Still enjoying it. I'll get there when I get there. Nice, man. That's awesome. 100% file. Have you, uh, have you done the trials yet? I haven't messed with the trials at all. Oh yeah, brick time, baby. Actually, what am I doing? This goes on top of my head. Probably gonna take the long way around to be honest with this trailer. The dragon, this guy. Actually, maybe the way down will be easier, but I don't know if I want to chance it. Let's take a look. First, let me turn off this engine. Oh, uh, I mean, I probably could like dive through here but I, I feel like oh they are dang that's crazy I might just take the route around dang it's a long way too you know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with shortcut I mean just do it if I could get that trailer up here I definitely can get it down Oh yeah, those hood ornaments. Yeah, those do look cool. Oh, what the heck? Why'd I do that? Okay. Probably gonna take it nice and easy through here. So if I can make it through this little spot right here, I'm pretty sure I'm golden. I'm just gonna put it in low so I can pull this trailer without. Okay. Get a good look here. I guess I'll just go around. Don't you dare tip, and you did. Wait, you might get up on your feet. Yep. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, come on. Yes. So much easier going down. Don't tip, whatever. Gonna drag him. Maybe I can like get him up on here. He'll tip up. Me. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh no, it's not gonna happen. I'll just wait till I get down here, then I'll tip him back over. I mean, hopefully I don't high center here. Okay, sweet. Oh, he's nice. He's back up. <laughs> Good stuff. I need to stop for a second. Dang. I knew I was going to do that. Okay. Good to go. Are you serious? What in the world? How did he fall off? That's weird. It looked fine as soon as I like... Whatever. All good. Just, uh, you know, a minute detour. So something I never noticed, I never noticed that's like a little like rock bridge, I think. You can like cross. I never noticed that. I probably I probably should have when I was scouting. <laughs> but I just gotta deliver this stuff, take all my trailers back to the to the garage, and then get ready to do some logging. Which should be pretty fun. I don't know why that the heck I don't know why I brought him around. I shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, that's right. I should have noticed that sooner. I just automatically thought that there was like no way across that bridge or no way across that river because of that bridge outing, but I should have known. Here we go. Nice. Dang, 35,000. Um, I'm not. I'm actually taking it back. I'm taking it back to the garage to sell it. I 
I'm like weird whenever I would say this like I always clear all my um all my trailers I guess this place looks so different now it's kind of cool oh but yeah I'm taking it back to the garage And then I'm gonna go grab the other two. Shouldn't take long. I have the cat. I have the big cat over where um, the metal beams generator is. So he can just pull that across the river real fast. And then I can just have um, the collab over here drag the other one out. Um, so I think this time, so when I was in Russia, I kind of, there was one of those logging contracts where you had to deliver six pieces or six loads, okay? Six loads of medium logs. And I just decided to bring a semi-trailer like this and manually load them all into it and then just like basically make one trip and then have the uh, the vehicle that packs them and and turns them in sitting at the location. So that's what I did. It worked out pretty good, but it takes three trucks and I think it might take either longer or just as long just to, you know, do the there and backs. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, I, I actually, I do it that way, then I do it another way. But I know, like, I guess whenever I'm not going to use a trailer anymore, I'll just automatically take it back. Let's see if I can hold fifth gear. I gotta say, that little like move you showed me with the clutch is like, it's awesome. Oh, it's, it is a game changer. It's like, it's like night and day. Cause you don't have to wait to like, to run through the gears. You can just smash that and get up to the max gear. Shoot, he's gonna tip. Nope, don't tip.
Oh, what? Plus, these trailers are like, I think they're like 10 grand. Let's see. 13,000. Oh, wow. Yep, that's true. Now that you said that, I probably wasted so much time with, you know, running up, running up gears, especially like using slower trucks. All right, big cat, let's go. Oops. Let's do it. Oh gosh, don't tip, trailer. Please don't tip. Please don't. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> this thing literally walks through this. Like, I have such a hard time getting through that in like everything. That's why I love, I, I really do. This is, the cat is one of my favorite. Seriously. <laughs> it doesn't, man, it really doesn't. It's basically a way to just Tell the game, like, no, I'm going to do what I want. Oops. Go get uh, Mr. Kolob. Uh, you know what? I'll go this way, actually, since I'm already here. Instead of going across the uh, whatever it is that that muck. Alright, so which collab do you like better? This one or the uh, the big nose?
I'm actually surprised. It goes pretty fast. I don't remember this thing going that fast. Maybe because I'm going downhill, but... Yeah, I like this one better, too. The other one has a switchable all-wheel drive, which is kind of cool, but... I think both... I think they're both switchable ones. Um, or it's... It's diff lock in all-wheel drive or switchable on the other one, but... I think this one's better. Wait. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. That's right. I, I took that trailer. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to check out these logging contracts now. This one is over in the other map. So I don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about that one. Don't need to worry about that one either. That's also in the other map. So it's all lo logging. Cool. Yeah, it does. That's true. It does. All right, I'm chewing on ice. <laughs> okay, so there's the weather station. Wooden planks. Logs. Okay, I might try to string something together here. Over to the farm. Where's the farm? Oh gosh. You know what? We're gonna do this one first. Yeah, we're gonna do this one first. And I'm gonna break out the Break out the P512 for this. I'm gonna go get those planks first. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to do the planks on both of those contracts. And then... But, actually... Oh wait, you do? But even at the sawmill? Oh shoot, you do! Oh my gosh... you run out okay wait how do you make those though do I have to bring logs to there I probably have to bring logs there oh man let's see Okay, so, all right then, uh, all right, so I guess we're taking logs then. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take the long logs, see, is there long logs here? Okay, so this is like infinite supply from here. This is not, actually I might go here. Or here. I'll just grab from right here. Either, either or. This is like two loads. Yeah. Okay. Actually, hold up. I still want to take... You know what? We're going to bust this guy out. I haven't done logging with him.
sweet. Right, I guess I'll just drag him along here. He is so thirsty, man. Like, look at that. I've burned three gallons since leaving the garage, and the garage is literally right there. <laughs> so, so crazy. Burns so much gas, but man, this thing is like a wrecking ball. That's, that's a good point. That's a really good point, actually. That's a really good point. I never thought about that. It does get places really fast. I mean, it's, you know, honestly, like, I don't know another truck that, that cr like, for its tier, okay, so like, an off-road truck. I don't know another off-road truck right now that handles terrain like this one. I mean, it, it does have, like, its issues, but, like, I really feel that it's... It outdoes everything else. Performance wise. Like if we're just talking like strictly like mud running. Something. All right, I need to. Okay. So I'll just take him up to the sawmill, drop him off, and then go get the that stuff. Yeah, that's for sure. Dang, that plant looks cool now that it's all built. It's pretty sweet. So there's like an argument, okay? Some people argue that this thing is very good on fuel. <laughs> 
and I don't know. I just don't see the the, vali the validity in that argument. Like they just say, like, oh, it, well, it can make it can make up more ground. Oh shoot, this is gonna be rough. Actually, I'm gonna go to low. I just don't feel that's that's the thing that's the issue or that's the case. I mean, I was on the highway and it was just like drinking fuel. Maybe, maybe that's that could be true. Yeah. I mean, I think it's all about how you drive if you drive it with like okay maybe I'll just leave him there nope. yeah I'll just drive him through by himself I know right and the highway gearbox is like it's better for fuel too That's what I kind of wish they never did, is I wish they didn't mess with, like, I think that's what they put in, the recently, I think that's why, because, like, I don't know, I think recently, fuel has been, like, nerfed, or, like, fuel consumption has been kind of nerfed, and I think what they did, I think it, it has to do with the, the gearboxes, I don't know, I don't know if they, like, recently put that in, where, you know, the off-road and the fine-tuned burn more, Maybe I just wasn't paying attention, like, whenever it was early game for me. Shoot. Alright, I need to, like... I need to do some mapping here. So we'll go down here. I guess we'll get fuel. And then I'll just... Then I'll just run it. I think we burn more, um, and I think my only speculation that we burn more now is, so I primarily drove the, the Azov 64131 for, I probably have the most time driving that truck. Like, I, I think if I know any vehicle in this game, the best, it's that vehicle, and Something I've noticed since, I think it's like, it might have been phase one or phase two, is that it started eating up a little bit more fuel than before, and then I kind of noticed, after I noticed that, um, I started noticing like other vehicles too, seemed like they were just using more fuel. Nope, ain't working. I think it's just in response. I think what the developers did, they might have, like, threw that in there. That's just speculation, honestly. But I've talked to a couple other streamers and, like, guys like you that have, you know, 100% playthroughs and stuff like that. And they feel the same way. And it could be a way for that, like, you know, the developers to, like, up the difficulty without really, like, making things super hard, you know, like. You know, when you when you're burning more fuel, you have to go the fuel stops more. You have to. The six, four, one, three, one. Yeah, that's the one I use the most. I probably have in my first playthrough. Um. I think it's like, honestly, like, <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but a lot of the tasks and contracts I was afraid of, like, I was afraid of taking other trucks at some point, especially, like, when Lake Cove and Amandra came out, like, I was, I was taking that truck everywhere, and then I figured out that 
you know, with all the rocks and stuff, it was just getting caught up, so had to, like, retire it. But most of the other places, like, I think probably, I would say 30% of my, my mission completions were from that vehicle. That's, uh, <laughs> kind of sad to say, but it's true. I actually thought about I need to go to the other maps and get um, the upgrades oh it was are you serious oh my gosh there's a brick fairing I forgot to get this one now I could have used that Dang, that sucks, man. Okay. Maybe I remember when they when I heard that that they did. And I just didn't pay attention. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn around so I can come back through here. But it you know what it the crazy thing? It's like why why nerf that vehicle? Because, like, if you think about it... Sorry, I'm like... My wife came in, I'm talking to her. Um, it's not fast. The vehicle's not that fast. It's it's not, like, anything that stands out. I mean, it is, like... Oh, my gosh. <sighs> I feel like that was, like, an eight-point turn or something. Yeah, it just... There's nothing, like, crazy about the vehicle. So, like, why nerf it? See what? Okay, that's right. Three logs is one, one load. But yeah, I think I remember the patch notes on that, and I was like upset. I don't think that was that was right for them to do that. I mean, it's still good. Like, don't get me wrong; it's still one of the best for fuel. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness, this thing is insane. <laughs> this thing is a wild man. Medium. Oh, shoot. Wait. It takes medium logs? Oh, no. There we go. So, four. Okay, so I think I have 12. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna, like, spin this guy around. And I'll just sit him here. For now. Five twelve time. Oops.
That is true. Yeah, I guess you're right. It did. It did really well. Even as a stock truck, it was. It's pretty darn good. Like technically, I don't think to complete the game that you need any of the upgrades from that vehicle to make it like a huge difference. But I gotta say, like, I used it stock, and its fuel usage was literally insane. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, I guess it was. That's true, I guess. So, like, yeah, because it was so overpowered, it kind of is overpowered. Or, I wouldn't say overpowered, it's like, it's really well balanced with, like, power, grip, and all those things. And then you add, you add to it, like, it has really good pulling power as well. Really good weight. And then you add that it has great fuel economy, like, I guess, yeah, I guess the developers had to do something about it. It is. It is still amazing after the nerf. That's that's true. I want. I want to go back and read the patch notes and see how much they uh they nerfed it by. I'm just going to winch. I think it was a percentage. It might have been like a percentage base, which it ha I think it would have to be actually. Struggling. Still got some movement though, so that's good. Yeah, I think the patch, that patch for that, came out in, I think it was right around when Lake Coat happened. Oh dang, that's a pretty cool horn. I might deliver these to this place up top first. Fallen trees? Nope. 
Nope. I think this might be the one I might do. Even planks. Hey, oh my goodness. Four. Ten. Oh, four, ten, shoot, sixteen, I need sixteen. So I need to go get more logs. Okay, whatever. Okay, so, weather station up there. Where's the north house at? Okay, the house is here. Okay, I'll just bring this one for now. stay on stream for maybe another 20 minutes and then I'll probably call it but yeah so I think this coming Saturday next Saturday next Saturday morning I'm gonna stream for like I'm gonna try to stream for maybe like three hours or something like that Are there really? Where did you find the, the patch notes at? I feel like they they've had a lot to uh to fix anyways. That's probably why there's so many. Are you kidding me? Oh that was a rock. So, like, I'm pretty sure this sounds exactly like the P16. I think it does. I'm almost positive. might have the same engine actually. Oh, Pitbull, I am, but the only thing is I gotta finish this map first, or finish this uh, this region first, but yeah man, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. I definitely want to uh, get there as fast as possible, so. I think this week I'm gonna I'm gonna try to complete uh, this region to move on. How about you? Are you excited? A couple days it is too. I think it's three days. It's on the 18th. Tuesday. here and just run it yeah same here same here man I wonder how overpowered the Zix is gonna be though from what I've seen it just looks like a monster We're gonna go back, pick up some more planks, and deliver those to the uh, the other place, the weather station.
But yeah, from the looks of it, the Zix, the new Zix, I think it's like that big, massive looking alien thing. It looks crazy. So we'll see. I wish this thing had always on diff lock. It's so nice. Yeah, I agree, man. I would like to see some hidden upgrades, too. It'd be awesome for them to give, like... I don't know, maybe, like, an all-wheel drive upgrade for, like, the P16... I mean that might be that might be, might be pushing it because it would be so overpowered if they did. Okay. A stealth nerf. They probably they probably did. They just didn't say anything about it. to switch switch uh no not that one it's the one that's the weather station yeah okay it's only four wait what okay cool it's only four that means i can cool all right good to go Dang, that's kind of crazy it's, it was a stealth nerf, but I know when it happened, I was watching a stream and the two guys that were playing together, they were like, look at this. And they were they were just upset, to be, to be honest, and I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. Okay, so what's a, what's a vehicle? All oh, the new trucks? Oh yeah, man, that is so true. There are so many trucks I can use, like some things. That's for sure. Like honestly, what I want to see is I want to see the BM17 get differential locking. I've been wanting I've been wanting to see that for so long.
That's true, Vincent. That that is true. I mean, it's like we talked about. It, it did balance the game a little bit better because the Azov was. It's true. You brought up a good point earlier. Like, it was definitely like a front runner because of that. You know, it did, it did everything pretty well, and then like on top of that, it had great fuel economy. So like, yeah, it probably was justified to nerf the fuel on that. All right, so what vehicles do you guys want upgrades to? Oh, what is oh, what just happened? <laughs> that was so weird. Hey, does that go up? No, I'm not going that way. No, I'm doing that. We'll just stay in high gear. High gear and do it up. Okay, yeah. It does, man. Um, and that's kind of like what I said on my video about the BM-17 is... I think if it if you gave it diff lock, it would be a contender with like the top off-road trucks right now. But let me guess, what what uh, what mod did you use? Was it the JBE? The J-Boosted um, app? Or not the app, the, uh, the mod for it? All I know is that, that mod, I never used it before, but... It looks amazing. Oh, Benson, that's a good one, man. That is a good one. That would be a really good upgrade. That would be probably one of the better upgrades to see, honestly. I mean, you don't really see anybody using the Dairy Longhorn. I mean, if you think about it, they gave they gave the older Dairy Longhorn, um, I think, all-wheel drive, and it didn't have it before. So I think that was a, an update they did. So you actually, it'd be really nice if they they did. Let me map this out because I yeah let me map this out real quick just so I can not have to pull up my map every time I'm talking actually you know what hold up we're gonna go this way whoops yeah we'll just go around Oh shoot. This is gonna be rough getting up to. Oh yeah, there is a year two content right now. There's an, another season pass coming out. Oh, Vincent, me and you are the only one, ones that use the Dairy Longhorn. I kind of figured. I like it though. It's a good truck. Um, Pitbull, uh, there's, if you look at, I think there's a JBE mod that has the, um, the BM-17 and the things that he done it, like the aesthetics, you know, the differential locking, everything. Like he just made it so crazy, man. But I mean, like that's that's the thing about JBE. He's, he he makes these trucks like insane. So they're like super overpowered or whatever. 
I want to hit this tree because I know I can't knock it over. Yep. I knew it. I guess I'll go this way. Shoot. Oh yeah, they do. They do have so many tire options. That's so true. They are. They're overpowered. I contemplated getting the BM-17 uh, mod from JBE, but I couldn't do it. I've had bad experiences with my mods being deleted and losing money, so... Maybe in the future after I get the, get the game 100%. Are you serious? It's that good, Vincent. It's that's kind of cool. <laughs> Wait, the JB 420. You mean the Tatrin? Like the Tatrin 420? Oh my goodness, I can imagine. And the wrecker is like really good too. I've seen a lot of people play with the wrecker. That thing is that thing is nuts too, so can't even imagine what the the Tatrin is like. Oh, here we go. I gotta go up this gully. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... No, not yet. This is legit. Oh, you are? Nice, man. Okay, what is going on then? So, Pitbull, you 100% of it, I guess? That's kind of what I had to do here, is I had to restart my game. So this is kind of like a new playthrough actually as well. Come on baby, give me something. What's that rock? There we go. Okay, cool. That's awesome, man. New new playthroughs are always like the best. It's like nostalgia, you know. Like starting something like you you've done before, like in early game, and then you're like back again.
Yeah. I hear that. Game is pretty tough too. My gosh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get back to get gas. I, I might run out of fuel. <laughs> Seriously, what's up, Toller Bear? I'm just uh, finishing up the stream here. I'm gonna go back to the gas station, and I'm probably gonna call it. But I usually don't stream much during. Uh... Wait, I can go this way down. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. I usually don't stream much um, during the week. I probably maybe like one or two times, but I just had some extra time today. Gosh, I hope I can make it back. Oh man, I love the P512. Dude, I love this truck. Um, I like it because it's a challenge, man. But I'm I'm almost positive that this is the same engine as the P16. It sounds so much alike. Wait, the generator. No, I took the generator out of there, remember? Oh, okay. That's why it sounds the same. I was wondering, I was like, man, like every time I like hit the gas, it sounds like something I remember. I guess I probably should have left the generator there, huh? Oh yeah, that flooded area down the, near the garage is tough for any vehicle except for like, well, the overpowered ones. Yeah, that's a really tough spot. I haven't been there much because like everything is slow going so I kind of avoid that part of the map. Engine's off. I'm gonna map this out because I got it. I'm gonna see if I can get back. I might be able to, honestly. It's gonna be rough. I I don't think I'm gonna make it, but I might. I mean, whatever. If I don't, I don't. No big deal. That's something I can say. I, I don't really do much is run out of fuel. But. Oh gosh, the lockup. This this truck always does that. It's like a glitch. It like locks up. Okay, I'm gonna try to take the path of the least resistance here. I guarantee it. I kind of knew that was coming. Yeah, I do still have a dolphin out here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll bring the dolphin. If I run out of gas. Oh my gosh, this thing burns so much fuel. Like, even on paved ways. Look at this. Yeah, phase four looks super hard, man. I 
I don't know how I'm going to be able to, like, get through it, but... I mean, the answer is... Run around with a uh, fuel tank on your back. So, if you ever get in trouble, just throw a fuel tank on your back and then, you know, winch through everything. If it's going to be harder than a Mandra, um... I hope it isn't. I hope it's still kind of fun because... You know, a lot of people... A lot of people didn't like Amandra in Lake Cove just because of the difficulty of it. 2.0, way bigger. Oh yeah, that's right, it is a bigger map. I think I heard that too. this pit. Not going through it. It's not happening. I don't know. That's, that's actually a good uh, a good thought there. I wonder what they have planned to. Personally, I, I like the, the mud maps. I think they should add another Wisconsin map. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I'm not going to make it at all, man. Oh, that's true. Yeah, maybe. I didn't know what to expect with the Mondra, honestly, and then I went in there. And it just kicked my butt. Yeah, we're stopping. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a guess. I'll go get this guy. Oh, does it really? So maybe that's going to be something like, uh, do you remember when they added the rift map? Right before phase one, I think? Rift was the first map they ever added. It might be like that. Yeah, that'd be cool to see some more American trucks. Hon honestly, like, I feel like they need to make the American vehicles better. I just want to see, you know, some good American trucks, honestly. I know we have a bunch of good ones right now, but... I feel like anything we call overpowered right now, the majority of it is of Russian built. That's so weird. I don't know why that camera does that. You know what would be cool is that if we got like a... Actually, what, what's another map? They might actually add another Yukon map. Which I don't think I'd be for, honestly. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. Some European trucks would be cool too. I just think like right now they're putting out all these like these Russian vehicles that are super overpowered. Like I know the Zix is gonna be like probably the best truck in the game right now. I mean if you've seen like if anybody saw like spoilers of it and seen what it does, like it, it's amazing. Nope, I'm not gonna get into high gear. Yeah, taller bear. That's a that's a good uh, that's a good idea too. What about like a uh, a desert map? You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the what's that mod they put out? It's like that red that red desert map that's really hard. Goodness, it's so hard pulling this guy. Okay, you're on your own. <laughs> I'll just take them one by one. The Utah map will be sweet. It would be cool to see like a desert map though. Oh, I haven't seen the, the mod, the Utah mod. Oh, Toler Bear, I live. Oh, Red Canyon, that's that's the map, right? Toler Bear, I live in I live in uh, Arizona, so I'm right beneath you. Okay, we'll get this guy back to the the fuel station. I'll grab the other truck, bring him to the fuel station, and then I'll probably call it quits for now. Oh, Red Canyon is a, is a Utah map? That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Oops, I gotta turn the engine off. Man, I, I really do love the P512 though. Okay, what, what, what is going on here? Oh, that's why. Yeah, but... Now that you're talking about the Utah maps, like, I thought Red Canyon was an Arizona map. But now, like... I don't know. Oh, the short logs? Shoot, I didn't even, I didn't even know they had plans for that. Yeah, basically. We kind of do share the same desert. Utah is gorgeous, man. I, I went there once. Uh, I went to Zion National Park when I first moved out here in 2019. So... That is kind of odd. You can't do anything with them. I wonder what they're going to do. But I gotta say, I'm glad they're doing a season two. 
I mean, even if they didn't do a season two, I think there's enough mods, like modded maps, to, you know, keep it going, you know? The, snow, the SnowRunner community is pretty good with that stuff, but... I really feel, I really hope that they like look at modded maps and kind of like take some ideas from them, you know? It'd be really cool. Alright gents, well, I'm gonna call it for today. I'm almost at two hours now, so go get some food. South American map would be really cool. Who knows, man, they might, they might do some really cool stuff. I'm looking forward to it, honestly, so. Who knows? After season two, they might do a season three if, if it's popular enough. So we'll see. Anyways, guys, uh, if you haven't checked out my videos on YouTube, um, I do reviews for trucks. Uh, for anybody that, that's watching that's, that's new or just, you know, lurking in the chat. But yeah. Anyways, have a great day. Check them out. Hit me with some likes. Share them. Let me know what you think. But anyways, guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. See ya.